Hi, this is PRZ, and we're here at Ward 3 in Tribeca, and I'm here with my friend Kenneth, who is, what I call you, a mixologist or a bartender? Or what's the difference? Because we keep hearing all this stuff about mixology, 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 but I came here last night and had some incredible drinks, and were they drinks made by mixologists or bartenders? Um, I would have to say that they would be made by bartenders. Um, so the mixology, mixology is a great is a, word. A I think trend. it's wonderful, yeah. but I think it's... I think it's a totally separate thing. I think bartending sort of encompasses all of that. You should be able to know how to make cocktails, take care of customers, give great service, and still pour pints of beer and gin and tonic shots, you name it. In your background, how long has it taken you to master the art of making a cocktail? I know um, it's an ongoing process. Yeah, absolutely. But doing what we're doing here, I'm making 50 to 100 different cocktails every day. Wow. So I'm constantly learning. I mean, I was a different bartender a year ago than I am today. Now, let me ask you a question, because there's a lot of guys out there that, you know, I've gone drinking with my buddies and whatnot, but there's a lot of guys out there who wonder about this. And I don't know if you've ever seen this, but you're at a bar and somebody drinks a vodka and is like, oh, that vodka is not good enough. How long does it take for you to acquire the uh, skill to be able to tell what a vodka really tastes like or if it's a good vodka or if it's a certain brand of vodka. I think the main thing with that is you constantly have to be tasting things. Right. And when you're tasting them, you have to be thinking about what you're tasting and writing that down and, and realizing like, okay, this week I tasted this, I'm gonna go taste this next week and constantly comparing notes. You're de what you're doing is you're starting to develop your palate. Let me add, so I know that a lot of preparation must go into this because looking back here, there's so many contraptions and I was watching these guys work last night. They look like mad scientists. What are some tools or some implements that an average guy should have in their home or, or should know what they are? Because I have no, when I see you guys mixing those things, I'm like, why are they putting only a little bit right, in there? Right, or right. why are they putting a lot in well, that? Or there's, okay, I mean, you have your, this is your, your basic shaker. This is um, the shaker. Yep. Okay. This is your mixing glass. This is a, a measure. So you've got one ounce pour, two ounce pour on this side. This is your bar spoon. Okay. Used for stirring. Uh, your strainer. These are pretty much the things that you would need really in cool. your house if you were going to make cocktails. This is a julep strainer here as well. But those are the basic tools that you would need for making cocktails in your house. So anybody, if you have these, basically it's you a very can, good. Yeah, you could definitely, it's definitely a good start. You could pretty much make anything at home within a range. Let me ask you a question. Is there a signature drink that you have that you could share with us today? Yeah, abs we absolutely. Could, you know, just, uh, we could watch you make. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we'll do, um, we'll do award three, which is our, our the namesake. Ward 3 is a signature drink It's here. our signature okay. cocktail here, yep. So it is, it's Maker's Mark bourbon, lime juice, which is fresh squeezed, uh, apple puree, Angostura bitters, egg white, and a little bit of simple syrup. Very cool. Okay. So that's the apple puree, I this think. This is the it. apple puree. The Maker's Mark. The Maker's Mark bourbon. Your lime juice. This is Angostura bitters. Just a little bit of simple syrup. And you're gonna put a little egg white in there because it's gonna create froth. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. And then you're really gonna shake this thing. It's got egg white in it. Take a little cinnamon. And just get it right on top there. That's a ward three. Oh, wow. So can I taste it? Please do. Yeah. That's delicious. I don't even like Maker's Mark, but you made it actually taste really good. So it's delicious. Thank you so much. Before we Absolutely. go, can I show everybody your tattoo? Absolutely. Are you cool with that? So this is uh, 
logo for Ward 3. You must be very proud. Extremely Congratulations proud. Congratulations on Thank you. such an awesome establishment. I hope we can come back. Please do. And Anytime. learn a couple of more drinks from you. Anytime. Anytime. And I know everybody out there is going to be very excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ken. Cool. And we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure.